But let's get into just how the ad came together with Mountain CEO Mark Douglas and Peloton's head of global marketing, Dara, excuse me, Dara Traceder. Thank you both for being with us. Uh, I think it was a brilliant ad, to be honest with you. Mark, how, Mark, did you pull this together so fast? Because as I understand it, you didn't know that this was coming until the episode was dropped. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. So Maximum Effort, Mountain is a software company. And Maximum Effort um, basically is a division as an agency. And we love Dara. We met her recently and put this together in 48 hours. I can let Dara talk more about it. She was, she was there on set making, you know, part of the team making this happen. Dara, how did you, how did you get Chris Noth? And Jess King is obviously an employee of, of, of Peloton's. She was the, the instructor who, is, who plays Allegra uh, in, in, the, in the show. How did you get them... So quickly, it was, just, was it just serendipitous that they, that they were free and you met their price? What? Well, you know, I think what's exciting about this, like, again, none of us, this was not a product placement by Peloton. So, you know, we did not have any formal product or brand placement with the show or HBO. So we were very surprised uh, when the episode premiered. And I have to give all the credit to, to Maximum Effort. We reached out to Ryan Reynolds, you know, it's his marketing company. And um, we reached out to them and, and together we were able to make this happen because we are part of an innovative model called uh, Creative as a, uh, it's a Creative as a Service subscription that Mountain offers. And we were one of the early people to kind of put our hands to do that. So together we were actually able to move uh, with a very modest budget uh, be able to execute this uh, together in, 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 in li with lightning speed. It's kind of so, what we're calling sort of fast advertising. So you said you did not do this as a product placement. In other words, you did not pay the producers or HBO to put Absolutely. the Peloton bike in the ad, uh, which Absolutely is which is not. yeah okay. So so you give them a bike. They say they're going to put it in in an episode. We didn't give them a bike. Pardon? We did not give them a bike. Okay. They procured our equipment on their own. Okay. Peloton was not involved in this at all. We did not give them the bike. This came as a casting opportunity for one of our instructors. We, of course, if we if we ever do a product placement, we review scripts. Yep. You know, we have a very thorough, rigorous process. So this was not that. So this was when you, when you, when you saw the saw the episode, what was the reaction yeah. around Peloton? I mean, honestly, what what we what was what we were thinking was it's so important to distinguish fiction from reality, mm -hmm. right? You know, things that happen on television are fiction. Plot lines are designed for dramatic purposes, and we thought, you know, let's let's use this opportunity to make sure that we reinforce a critical narrative, and that narrative is that cardio exercise is good for you. It's helping millions of real people around the world lead long, happy, and healthy lives. So it was really exciting for us to be able to do this. You know, Ryan Reynolds is a genius. He's a brand visionary. And so, you know, it was so great. And he's a Peloton member. And it was wonderful for us to be able to come together to reinforce this very, very important health and message. We should note that Ryan Reynolds has been involved before. Remember the, the lady from the Peloton ads last year, and he then made her the face of his, I think it's a vodka? Gin. A gin. Yeah, exactly. So he has some experience here, Mark. How much of this, because I think this creative and a service thing, and you guys told us about it last week, is fascinating. All companies yeah. should do this. I love the legalese as Dara tries to explain like what they could and couldn't you know, officially do, but I would love to see more companies do this. Were you only able to pull it off because Ryan has really good connections here, or would you be able to do this for any kind of client in the future? Well, I mean, Mountain and Maximum Effort as a part of Mountain, you know, we're always on. And we were literally at a company event when this all came together. I mean, we learned about Peloton being on HBO, you know, again, as Dara said, without Peloton even knowing. We, kn we found out the same moment they did. And so uh, literally within 48 hours, we had people from Maximum Effort fly to New York, write a script, secure a script, find a place to film, and film this and put this out on Sunday. So we're talking Saturday 
and Sunday. We had people from Maximum Effort, two people get on a mm -hmm. plane, a red eye, Saturday night. That's how fast this came together. And then where Creative as a subscription plays a role, we didn't have to negotiate anything. We didn't have to agree upon a price. We didn't have to agree on a budget. By just merging media and creative together, we can just go right at it, just knowing and you can go that, fast. you know, basically we could afford the cost of it. We can go really, really fast.